Bueno, vamos a ver, va Vamos a ver qué sacamos de aquí La música, fuera, por favor Vamos allá Qué guapos están estos eventos, tío Hello, everyone. I'm producer of Dragon Ball Legends, Toshi. ¿Qué pasa, Toshi? ¿Cómo estás? As always, I'm joined by Hello, everyone. I'm the other producer, Kai It's time for another review and stuff First, the rest talk Dragon Ball game hey, for hey. our 2023. It was held not too long ago. Did everyone watch it? I was actually at the event in Las Vegas and had a blast meeting and talking with all of the Legends players who were there. It was really a great experience. I'm sure you saw firsthand just how passionate our players are. That's right. Están hablando del evento de Las Vegas que estuvo bastante guapo, la verdad. I was so glad to be able to see everyone having fun. The tournament was full of excitement, so we hope all of you at home will try playing using a similar special rule set with your friends. We also surprised. Dice que que el torneo fue muy espectacular y que esperan que nosotros juguemos con nuestros amigos de esa forma, en plan así. Coño, poner un modo de juego, cabrones. So, fans were probably expecting something. Sí, se lo puso. We were glad to see from everyone's reactions that people were pretty excited about this new character. We haven't even revealed the abilities of this new Goku Black yet, so that is true. But of course, we'll be revealing them here, so stay tuned. Once again, thank you to everybody who watched or participated ah, in Dragon Ball ese. Game Battle Hour 2023. Dámelo. Dámelo. Moving on, the 70 million users worldwide huge sank campaign started in Game Back in mid February. We've had the Ultra Space Time Rush Super. The new non-stop raids and more to celebrate the occasion. This campaign was jam-packed with events, but it was also jam-packed with rewards, so we imagine it felt like quite the accomplishment once you cleared everything. There were quite a few chrono crystals available too. There was also the release of the new Master Roshi and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, who revives and transforms into Ultra Instinct Saiyan after being defeated. Also, Hit with the powerful time skip ability came out in January, and then we got Master Roshi with the character ceiling evil containment wave. Multiple characters with interesting gimmicks came out in such a short span of time, but using their unique abilities has proven to be a lot of fun for us as well. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku is also the first revival character to be released in a while. Goku has powerful abilities, so this is a character everyone needs for their tag universe rep parties. It seems like revival characters haven't been getting much use recently in PvP, so players may have forgotten how to deal with them, but we hope that facing one again has reminded everyone of just how strong they can be. If it was an endless effect, there are plenty of characters who could nullify it. Right now, the only thing that can outright nullify revival effects is the special move arts no me jodas of the que sparking que el, que el Ultra from last va a ser We hope players will make good use of Beerus as a counter to this powerful revival character. Oh, but Beerus is blue, right? That would put Beerus at an element disadvantage, so that's a bit unfortunate. That is true, but with Beerus on your team, anyone using revival characters needs to be constantly thinking about that special move arts. That's a kind of counter in its own way. Good point. Beerus can also inflict no switching, ah, bueno, so they it really Luis, have parece. to be on their toes. One strategy might be to do damage with other characters, then switch to Beerus for the finish. Putting together interesting party is one of the best parts of Resins, so we hope you all try out lots no, of no, no, different no, no, strategies. Alright, it's now time for Legends Update Info. Ver, Let's kick it off with this. The first spring, Legends Luxury Campaign is on the way. This campaign will feature a special login bonus as well as a PvP season that's slightly different to what we normally have. So, both Legends players who've been with us for a while and those just getting started should have something to get excited about. Now, let's get into what these events are all about, starting with this. Vale. It's the first spring Legends Luxury Login Bonus. In this incredible login bonus, you'll get 10 summon tickets each day you log in for a total of 70 free summons. You are probably familiar with free summons like this from anniversaries or the Legends Festival. But it's great that we are able to have one now too. Toshi, I think everyone waiting to hear about the lineup. 
this might just be the most generous we've ever been. Here it is. Well, look at that. For the first time since oh, yeah. the fourth anniversary, Legends Limited characters are in the lineup. Hey, and hey. not just any Ultimate Legends Limited LF. characters. It features characters like Jiren, Full Power, Mira, and Bardock, so it's Qué even bien. better than the fourth anniversary's lineup. I bet Vegeta no one was Evo, expecting a free summon that could surprise the anniversary to be held at this time of year. This is just a small way of showing our gratitude to everyone who helped celebrate 70 million users with us. Also, there are even more summon tickets up vale, to grabs. You can get an additional 30 from the first Spring vale. Metal Exchange Shop. Muy bien. Combined with the login bonus, that means you can earn up to 100 summon tickets. Yes, Try and get them all. Vale. Next up... A ver. We're holding a special season of PvP raiding matches. Even compared to some of our other special seasons, this one will be pretty unique. Now, allow me to explain. First off, during this season, you will earn double the rating points. That's just like all the other special seasons, though. It means it's easier to raise your rank, so hey, even if you normally don't play rating matches, you should give them a shot. In addition, you also earn special items for playing rating matches that you can trade at the exchange shop for slot removers and other items. However, this is where things get interesting. If you rank in the top 15%, you'll earn items that can be exchanged for Legends Limited character Z powers. It's a pretty big deal to be able to exchange for Legends Limited Z powers directly. It's true. This is a bit of an experiment for us. The lineup will include all Legends Limited characters up to Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, and Vegeta. As for how much Z power you'll be able to earn, the top 15% will be able to exchange for 100 Z power, the top 5% will be able to exchange for 300, and the top 10,000 players will be able to exchange for a whopping 600 Z power. This is a rare opportunity to direct. Estas cosas siempre me han hecho muchísima gracia porque les estás dando a la gente que es literalmente a los 10 mejores de tu servidor, le estás dando algo que no van a utilizar porque todos se sostienen a todos a 7 rojas. Pero bueno, eh, 15% de, de los jugadores. Un Hoi Poi, ¿cómo me gustan los Hoi Poi? Vamos ahí. Another Hoi Poi event. Is this a kind of that drop item directly? Yes, it is. It's not like the one from the Legends Festival that drops exchange items with different ranks. This is the one you all know that drops tons of awesome items directly. For this Hoi Poi, characters that were released from January through March of this year will boost Hoi Poi coin drop rates as well as the number of coins that drop. So make sure to keep them in your parties. Of course, characters from summons will have these bonuses, but so will event exclusive characters. That's right. Let's take a look at the rewards. Collect Hoi Poi coins by playing events and other contents. Then use those coins to play the Hoi Poi and collect those prizes. Up next, we have a new event to share. Hey! To friendship is a limited time event where you'll be able to get tons of friendship no. points. This will be a map style event with seven stages in total, and you'll be able to advance to a new stage once each day. Each new stage will award more and more friendship points, so you won't want to miss it out. There are a few benefits to rising your character's friendship but there might be a lot of people who aren't aware of them. Can you tell us a bit more? Of course. First, raising your character's friendship ranks will earn you Chrono Crystals. Each mm -hmm. individual rank doesn't award that many, but it really adds up as you get more characters to higher ranks. That's one obvious benefit. Another is that you can pass on special moves to Chalice. Está muy bien. O sea, que a, básicamente la, las stage estas de, de, de amistad. Que hay, que hay, las stage estas de amistad que tienes tres al día, eh, vas a tener siete. O sea que vas a, van a dar, entiendo, bastante más, más, bastante más experiencia, bastante más amistad. Y vas a subir a los personajes bastante más rápido. Está muy bien. Character stats in the Tournament of Power Mode. Characters will gain a 0.5% increase for each rank, up to a maximum boost of 5% to their stats in the Tournament of Power Mode. That is no small boost, so be sure to grab the characters you use in the Tournament of Power Mode and raise the friendship ranks to 10. There are also some missions in More Legends Missions that award Chrono Crystals if you raise your character's friendship ranks. 
Don't forget about those friendship pranks and take this opportunity to give them a boost. You'll also make some serious progress if you play Let's Fight each day. So please don't miss out. Now let's talk about a new Zenkai Awakening. Are you no Zenkai? Trunks, my. Trunks, my assist is getting a Zenkai Awakening. The Zenkai ability will target characters that are both Element Red and Tag Future. If it's Red and Future, then Legends Limited have Corrupt Fusion Zamasu or the Android 17 and 18 Tag character would really benefit. You're absolutely right. Be sure to try out those combinations for yourselves. As always, you'll be able to get the Awakening Z power from the Battle Gauntlet and missions. Now, it's time for the information that you've all been waiting for. Yes. Many of you know about this next character because we already announced it at Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour, but we didn't get a chance to show you much at the event. So, check out this footage that features no, all of black. Ultra animations. Qué guapo está, eh? Está muy guapo. You do well to savor this unique power while you can. Feel my wrath. Not so fast. Entiendo que esta, esta es la ulti que conseguirás después de llenar el gol o algo así. O no, no lo sé. Me lo estoy inventando como siempre. Qué guapo está. Es que el pelo rosa. El color rosa es maravilloso. There it is. An ultra rarity Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black is finally here. This was the first time we revealed the ink brush animations of Goku Black, but what did you all think? Now, let's move on and watch some gameplay. A ver. You do well to save this unique power while you. Era el mío. Gilipollas. Ahí está el Blastar My strength is higher than either man or god has yet explored. Moving on, let's talk about abilities. Ultra Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black is a strike type attacker who excels at inflicting abnormal conditions and attribute downgrades. The Ultra ability will target allied tag future characters. Increase the damage your party deals by inflicting all enemies with an increase to damage received. In addition to other attribute downgrades, you can inflict on enemies. The special move arts is especially powerful with a chance to inflict multiple abnormal conditions. If your opponent doesn't Pero have a ver, in their party that can cancel or nullify abnormal conditions or no attribute downgrades, then this special move arts will give you the upper hand in battle. Goku Black also has an attack type unique gauge that charges every time this character uses an arts. If you use a strike arts when the unique gauge is full, the entire gauge will be consumed and you can draw an ultimate arts card up to a certain number of times. With this ability to use a powerful vale, ultimate arts several times, times during a single battle, this character's strength as an attacker is substantial 
even without the abnormal conditions and attribute downgrades. With this Ultra Rosé, you can use Goku Black's iconic scythe, which previously could only be seen in animations, so we hope you'll all try to get this character for yourselves. Goku Black can inflict the enemy with attribute downgrades and all kinds of debuffs. It's clear that the special move arts is fairly strong, and because it increases damage received by the entire enemy team, it almost feels like it boosts the base firepower of your whole party, so all of your characters should feel substantially stronger afterwards. Oh, the other clear string is that you can draw your ultimate art when the unique gate fills up, and this can happen multiple times. This is a first since last August's Legends Limited Super Saiyan Trunks team. Filling up the unique gauge will also nullify special cover changes, so following up with the ultimate that also nullifies endurance effects makes for a simple but very powerful combo. We really do hope that you'll all try and get Ultra Super Saiyan Rosé Goku Black and play this character for yourselves. Also, with the release of Ultra Goku Black, we'll be holding this special event. It's a new Raging Battle event. This is a tower style event like the one we held when Ultra Hit was released in January. The difficulty really starts to ramp up as you advance through those later stages, but if you can clear up to and including stage 30, you'll receive a total of 1,000 Chrono Crystals. Plus, after clearing that, there's a daily stage where you can earn even more great items. This is an event that you truly won't want to miss. Battle bonus characters are especially important here so make sure to put them in your party, so you can come out on top in raising battle. It's time for today's last piece of info. Legends Battle Royale, Future, and God Key is coming. This time, character with either Tag Future or Tag God Key will be able to compete, so there should be plenty of parties that you can make. That's right. I'm still deciding what party I should put together myself, but I think the Ultra Super Saiyan Rosé Goku Black we just talked about will definitely be a part of it. Claro, you can see sí, characters cabrón. that are also tag powerful opponent, like the Zamasu released during the Legends Festival, might prove to be strong too. Bastard, also, Thomas, bastard, Trunks, bastard, my bastard. assist is about to get a Zenkai Awakening, so you can combine them with the Trunks and Vegeta tag character from Legends Festival or the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolved Vegeta, who recently Ayana got a Ayana. Zenkai to make a no tag Vegeta Clan party. Ayana. Ultra Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, and last month's Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, who can transform into Ultra Instinct Sign, are also eligible. So I'm looking forward to seeing what parties everyone uses. Me too. There's so much variety in the parties for this event, so make sure to Think long and hard about which characters you're going to use before this Legends Battle Royale begins. There will also be some special rules, so don't forget to check in-game for more details. That's it for today's reviews and stuff. Ultra Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black no is here, parking, so aparte... things are really heating up no, for no, Tag no, Future, no. much like what we just had with Tag Universe Rep. Definitely. Pair Ultra Goku Black with the Trunks and Vegeta from last year's Legends Festival, no, 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 no. and you'll have a fierce party for sure as well. A ver, el Actually, me tienta, eh. powerful ya opponent solo por el is Zamas. fairly strong now too, especially because the recent Ultra Hit has that tag as well. Whether it's Tag Future or Tag Powerful Opponent, we hope that you'll take this opportunity to battle with some parties containing characters that you haven't used much before. Now. Thank you all for watching today's show, and we hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Elimina los bufos, eh. Esto está, esto está muy rico. O sea, cuando... Pero esto le tienes que pegar, ¿no? No, no, no le tienes que pegar, solo tienes que activarla. Solo con activarla quitan los bufos. Escucha. Está brutal, ¿eh? Y cuando pega, le mete a todos los enemigos Attribute Downgrade más 20% del daño recibido. Es decir, vas a pegarle más fuerte. Ya no solo tú, sino todos tus personajes van a pegarle más, más fuerte. Va a costar más las cartas. Les va a meter sangrado y veneno y, y 40%. Hostia, que de mucha mierda, ¿eh? Hostia. Es muy bueno, eh. La, la Unique 
Range, Cover Change. Vale, Cover Change Strike. Todas las veces que te salgan las pelotas. Que comba con la azul. Va cargando la, la Unit Gauge. La Unit Ghost. Ghost. Eh, cada vez que el personaje utiliza cartas. O sea, cada vez que el personaje utiliza cartas. Cuando está en el campo. Y aplica los siguientes efectos cuando se llena. Restaura un 25% de vida, que solo puede pasar una vez. Más 70% de ki, eh, de recuperación de ki durante 20 contadores. Y gana bufo efecto, no le fica. Vale, y, y quita el cover change. O sea, elimina el cover change durante 15 contadores también. O sea, está brutal, está muy fuerte. Consume eh, toda la unique ghost. Vale, o sea, te dará una carta roja que cuando la uses, cuando tengas la, la Unique Ghost, la, la tiras la carta roja y tirar la carta roja te dará el robo de la ulti, ¿no? Roba la ultimate, eh, Art Cards, Dancing Slash of Heavenly Annihilation. Y esto puede pasar dos veces. Restaura 60 de aquí, es decir, la vas a poder tirar la ulti sí o sí, y te restaura el, el Banish. Está muy fuerte, ¿eh? Está muy fuerte. Es muy bueno, eh. Muy bueno el bicho. Es muy bueno el bicho, la verdad. Es muy bueno. Joder. Qué pedazo de bicho, eh. Ya veremos qué pasa. Ya veremos qué pasa. Ya iremos viendo. Ya iremos viendo qué pasa conforme pase el tiempo, ¿no? Ya veremos qué hacemos mañana. Ya veremos qué hacemos mañana. En fin. Por lo pronto, me despido por aquí. Que hemos hecho hoy más directo del que tocaba. Cuatro horas y media. Espero que os lo hayáis pasado guay.